So in this video, I wanted to take a quick look at this pen. This is the Zebra Fortia 300. It might be Fortia, I'm not really sure, but it's the Fortia 300. Uh, it's a $5 pen from Zebra, and the uh, quality is really shocking for $5. Uh, it's, it is the, again, look for the 300. Uh, I'm not sure if they sell a Fortia 400 or 500 or 100. I've only seen the 300, but uh, I've also seen this go by, uh, just called the Zebra Fortia. So uh, if you're looking more specifically, it's a 300. Anyway, you can buy these for $5, which is, I can tell you right now, uh, a great deal and a kind of a surprising deal given how well this pen is made. It's sold in other colors like... Uh, red, green, black. This is the silver, and I believe there's a blue as well. It's got a metal button, metal clip, metal cone piece, metal ring. The uh, grip is rubberized, and the body is a metallic paint. I'm pretty sure it's plastic, uh, but it definitely looks metal. But again, by look and feel, by feel rather, and by sound, I think it is plastic, but the pen has a nice weight to it. So it's not like you pick it up and you feel like you're holding a plastic pen. You do feel like you're holding a metal pen. Uh, so good looking pen, at least I think so. Really nice click mechanism. It looks a little bit underwhelming but when you click it. Really nice feel, really nice sound. Listen to this. Nice feel, nice sound. Uh, so very cool click mechanism. Opening the pen up, we can see that it uses a Zebra F series refill. It's a 0.7 millimeter oil based ballpoint ink. And that's the same sort of uh, refill you would find in like a F701, like the standard one. And it's fine. It's not super fun to write with. It gets the job done. Uh, it's just sort of utilitarian. The biggest problem with that F-Series refill is that it's kind of hard to replace. You can move it from this 0.7 millimeter to a 1.6 uh, millimeter, or you could look for the Serrari gel refill. Uh, and I've done videos about putting that Serrari gel refill in something like this F701. Uh, let's see, this one is, let's see what I have in here. Always a surprise as most of these I've switched Oh, this one has a Parker refill in there. Uh, so I haven't tested out yet if you can get a Parker or, you know, Parker G2 style refill into the Fortia, but I'll give that a shot. That would be a nice upgrade for that pen. Here it is in the F701. So F701 sells for about seven, eight dollars. The Fortia is about five dollars. Uh, Forty is obviously a little bit more dressed up, kind of more business-like than the F701, so it might not have the same level of like EDC appeal. It is a little longer, it's a little thinner. You do get the rubberized grip, which is nice, but you don't get that all-metal construction or the the knurled grip of the F701. Again, the Forty I think is is very good looking, and I like the click mechanism better. So, uh, yeah, I think that about covers it. It's a, it's a really nice value for the money. I think it's just a, a cool pen. Uh, I don't love the F series refills from Zebra, but you could put something else in there like a Serrari refill. Uh, if with the very, you know, just like cutting the end off of it and putting it in there is fine. Or the Zebra F series 1.6 millimeter that I've done videos about before. That will go right in here with no modification, that's better than this refill. I did some writing, this is the uh, Zebra Fortia 300. Just did some scribbling, like I said, it's ballpoint. Oil based, 0 0.7 millimeter. So it's a perfectly well behaved ink it just, uh, and it writes fine. It's very reliable, it writes under all sorts of conditions. It's just not a whole lot of fun to use. It just, you know, gets the job done. That's about it. Uh, and that's what you're looking for. And that's what you expect out of a $5 pen. This is a great value. If you want something more fun, then you want to swap the refill or get a different pen. But it's hard to beat this thing for $5. Thanks for watching.